honestly, even the format of the peanut app, gosh, it's like Tinder, okay? So when people say it's weird to compare finding mom friends to dating, well, I just wanna talk about my experience and my um, just general opinion over the peanut app. And if you're not a mom, probably don't know what it is but it's basically this new app or new-ish app new to me for moms of any age I, see, I do see a lot more um, younger moms or, or moms with kids who are younger rather I have been using that app for like six months ish but only really been actively using it for about three months I feel like trying to find mom friends is pretty much the same thing to dating or it's like the closest thing to compare it to is dating it's really awkward it's an unfamiliar territory especially if you're a first-time mom a lot of intimidation and a lot of um, insecurities because there's all kinds of moms out there and like obviously when you're trying to seek out mom friends you don't only think about yourself but you have to think about whether you know your kids will get along with their kids what their kids ages are they live just the scratch of the surface okay we haven't even you know gone into like their beliefs like their lifestyle and their values the reason why i downloaded it in the first place because i have just gotten to a point where i really do feel that i need to have some kind of friend or like have um, you know someone to talk to I was the first of all my friends to uh, have a baby have like like a couple of people who are engaged slash married and then like everybody else is either still at school or they're working or they're doing both or just living the single life basically it's hard because motherhood you know it's not easy you definitely need a support system I'm so thankful and blessed that I have my family you have someone who's actually going through it with you in like the current time and you know it's still very relevant you know in their lives that they feel open and comfortable you know talking about that kind of stuff with you because I remember that at one point I was talking about breastfeeding with my best friend he was probably really freaked out but I really had no one else to talk to and it was a big deal for me whether it's just venting or like trying to get advice from someone it's just nice to to talk it out it doesn't compare to having a girlfriend who just just gets it you know that's what made me want to download it in the first place. I just find it so hard to meet new people and to find friends, especially being a stay-at-home mom. My options of socializing are very limited and obviously, you know, I'm with Audrey, I'm with my child 24-7 and our days pretty much circulates around her schedule and whatever activity she has that day. So in my free time, the last thing I want to do is like go out to social events or things like that. I just rather, you know, chill out. You know, you forget how much energy it takes to create a friendship and to maintain a friendship. You have to really invest and take time aside to, you know, check up on friends and things like that. All the more trying to make new friends, you know, you have to like go through that all over again. The peanut app, I've been using it for a while now and they have it set up in a way where you can list like your interests or things that describe you and then it shows you um, the distance between like each moms that you see and then obviously you can put like pictures um, of yourself and your kids and then it'll sh it usually you have the options to list how many kids you have how old they are. The main thing I look at is age. I just feel like it's easier to set up play dates and to interact because everybody's kind of all on the same um, level developmental wise. Um, so it's a lot easier. Plus when you know I go through new milestones with Audrey, it's nice to be able to talk about that rather than with a mom who hasn't um, been there yet or a mom who's like way past that. And the second thing I look at is distance. I am a 
true homebody. I don't really like going out. Um, always been like that by the way. I find it easier to like meet up or like have play dates when it's not too far um, because I'm pretty familiar with my area and around my city so anywhere where it goes farther than that um, I kind of get uncomfortable or I mean I can do it but I just rather not. From there I just look at like our shared interests. I always see it for like Audrey's benefit first because she's at an age where she needs to socialize and it's good for her to be around you know other kids secondly i do it for me because to be honest you know you can't neglect yourself and having those friendships and um having that kind of support system or just someone to talk to i've learned the hard way is actually very important and very necessary so now that i've been using it for a while now um i haven't found much success to be honest it's just that a lot of my conversations, like we'll, I'll have a match or I'll have a connection and then either um, I start the conversation and then it just kind of fizzles out or neither of us are afraid to approach each other so it just like stays there and it, nothing ever evolves from that. Or um, we do have a conversation and then eventually we just stop talking or neither of us knows what to say next. I've had like two moms and like the most that it's gone to was we've exchanged phone numbers so we've actually talked outside of peanut through text and then one of the mom we were just texting but it was so hard to coordinate our schedules like with her daughter's um, nap time and with Audrey's it's just like we've been trying to like coordinate something it just hasn't been working. The other mom I actually met up with once and um, it was nice. It was definitely a new experience upon meeting her. I was so nervous and I was so anxious. I don't know why. I think of things like what if she doesn't like me or what if we just don't vibe. I don't know. So it was pretty nerve wracking at first. And then, you know, it's like awkward when we meet and we talk because it's like, you know, we're literally like strangers and just meeting each other for the first time. It wouldn't be as weird if you're someone who is just naturally a social butterfly or you have no problem just going up to people and creating connections and starting conversations and things like that. But for me, um, I'm definitely an introvert and it's harder for me to like open up. Um, so these kind of experiences are a little bit harder for me than maybe like someone else. For future reference, if I ever do meet up with someone or yeah, if I just decide to like hang out with a mom friend or when I meet someone for the first time, I would definitely try um, just meeting up just the two of us one on one before we bring the kids in because it's so hard to try to get to know someone and you know, feel out if there's a possibility of there being like a friendship there or whatnot when you have like kids you know in the situation because it's really distracting and you know you're busy with them and you're you're trying to like keep up the conversation and I feel like it just it just remains very um, shallow like the conversation never gets deeper I take it very seriously because I don't want to just you know introduce anybody into my life because now I have a daughter and I've just gradually become a became a very private and closed person I really have to like you know filter out the kind of people I have in my life and just make sure that you know like that what, like the way we think or the way we live our lives align because it's just much easier that way and it's less awkward than trying to you know bond with someone who's very obviously different than you like I hope this that like makes sense but that's just how I feel there were a lot of times where I felt very frustrated with the app point of period of time where I was just so tired of feeling lonely um, and I just 
see how it, you know, like on YouTube, for example, a lot of people have mom friends over here, or like other moms have mom friends, and they have like groups and just people they can go to. For me, it's, that's just not the case. It's like so much harder than what everybody makes it look like. Like when I talk to, for example, like my my high school or my college friends about this, they're just like, they don't know what to say. They can't relate. They just look at me in awe and they're like, okay, well, I know what to look forward to. Before I sign up for this app, I have joined some mommy and me classes, or I, I jo yeah, I've joined those. I have signed her up for different activities and stuff, but it's just like so awkward to go up to mom and be like, hi, I'm a first time mom and I'm struggling. Do you wanna be friend? It just doesn't work that way. And maybe someone out there feels me on this. Most of the time, honestly, I am a hot mess. Actually, all the time, I am a hot mess. We have established that on this channel. I feel like I'm in the minority of like these moms these days who have their life together and you know are succeeding in life. I'm over here like trying not to drown. So when I see a mom who seems like she's very put together, it's very intimidating for me to go up to her and try to be friends. I was talking to my mom and my sister about this and I can tell they're very weirded out because like I said, it sounds so similar to like trying to find a guy or trying to go out in the dating world. And guys, I'm sorry, but that's just how it is. And that's how I feel. That's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to talk about the peanut app because don't know if any of y'all use that or know it or if you're interested in it. So long story short, unsuccessful in trying to meet new friends in real life desperate to the point where i've downloaded the peanut app you have been using the peanut app for a while and was not successful so far or like had some success but not really and i guess my fourth point is i just wanted to stress the importance of finding mom friends or finding people who can help you through the tough times, just can't do it alone. I mean, you can never do life alone. You always need a support system. Just realize, like, through all this, that motherhood is a journey. And the more people you have on board with you to be there for you, to support you, who care about you, the easier it is to go through. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to. I wish you luck on your journey of finding friends or just in life in general because we all need some good thoughts and prayers in our lives. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!